Hello, I'm Beth Lord, and we are Right Heart Memories, and we have storytelling systems every day except for Sunday to help you get in touch with your own stories. And I'm going to share my screen so we can begin. Today, it's Lake Joy. Beth Lord and Right Heart Memories, daily storytelling systems that invite your stories into a book. We use words, pictures, feelings, a quote, a question, and a brief movie to help you remember your story. The word, lake. Pictures taken by Long Beach, Indiana. Feeling, joy. Quote, there's only one way to tackle life. Enjoy a day at the beach and jump into a great lake headfirst. Viola Shipman, The Charm Bracelet. Question, what, what lake stories do you remember? My story is an example recorded and transcribed via Google Docs, movies made with Zoom, and you can watch my movie on YouTube. What lake story do you remember? My example, lakes. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some are very small, like Green Lake I walk around, and some are very big, like Lake Michigan. I'm sure you have a great experience about a lake, so today's storytelling system is remembering one. Mine is Lake Michigan. That is the first experience of a lake I have known. I lived on the south side of Chicago, and my mother had grown up as a child having a summer home in Long Beach, Indiana. Mom had so many fond memories growing up there that she wanted to give this memory to her kids, and so our family rented cottage homes before Airbnb ever existed, and I experienced Lake Michigan in this way. I loved walking the long stretch of the beach, the waves hitting me in the face or jumping over them or diving below them when I was in the water. I sunburned, so I had to always wear a t-shirt over my bathing suit, or I would blister. Mom loved picking the dead skin after the blister had popped and my skin was healing. I remember the lake as someone to love and someone to fear. Lake Michigan covers four states, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, and Wisconsin. Lakeshore Drive Road, named after Lakeshore Drive in Chicago, was the main road across from the beaches and the lake. There were stops along the drive and everyone knew each other by what stop they were near. And the talk was always about the erosion of the beach and what houses were going to suffer the most because their beaches had eroded. Some homes got gobbled by the Lake Michigan no matter how hard the sandbags and preservation methods were enforced. It was then that I developed a reverence and respect for Mother Nature, who always has the last word in the human-made world. My mother retired to Long Beach and bought a home where she lived for the last 20 years of her life. She never ventured any further away from the stop. She grew up as a child. Katie, my oldest, had the benefit of visiting Mom's Beach for her first four years until we moved to Seattle. And when we came back often to visit family in Illinois, Mom and Lake Michigan would also get a visit. Mom died in the dead of winter in February. My daughter Amy was with me when Mom died. My siblings were there too. We had a funeral for her, but we decided to celebrate Mom's life in the summer. Summer was Mom's season because of Lake Michigan and the beach. So that summer, in August, we rented a home near Mom's house. Her home had sold and everyone in the family came for a long weekend to celebrate mom's life. We had long walks on the beach. The kids swam in the water. We took turns choosing the knickknacks of mom's life we wanted for our own. The sun shone and mom's celebration complete. What lake story do you remember? Reminders. If this sparks a memory in your heart worth keeping, then write it down or record it and put it in a particular folder so you can find it anytime or pay $3.50 if you want me to hold on to them, and we can make a book when you want. Two, free online storytelling on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday starts November 5th, 2018. They'll be recorded and available for you. 
Monday is going to be about loss and grief. Tuesday, all about women, all about women. Wednesday, it's about legacy. And then Thursday, it's about a surprise. It'll be a surprise type of story. So you can schedule a time to talk to me, $30, 30 minutes. We'll have a Zoom meeting and you'll get the audio and the video of our time together. The memory activity book and journals I've written help you get in touch with your stories. Check them out. And also, I'm extending the Diamond Package interview special from $585 to $197. Why? I want you to have your stories in a book for you to feel in touch because that would be the best word of mouth marketing I could ever have. See this blog for a good reason why you want to do this. This is my holiday special until December 31st, 2018, when this type of pricing is going away forever. If you want to get the book before the holidays, then the interview needs to be completed by November 5th, and the final proof with me has to be done by November 15th. Thank you, and you have a great day out there. Bye.